In this video, I want to start entering products through WooCommerce. But before we do that, I want to say something about pages. Remember, we were assigning pages here for WooCommerce to use for various purposes, like the shopping cart, the checkout page, and so forth. And we just did our drop down menu here and chose a page which we created in WordPress. Okay. Normally, WooCommerce sets up these pages for you. Okay. But if they don't, if it doesn't happen, like in our case, because we had Jigo Shop installed beforehand, then we had to create the pages ourselves. Now, what's a bit misleading is you don't simply create the page, okay? You have to do this, and I'll show you over here. There's a little button here for WooCommerce shortcodes. So I've created a page called Change Password, but I need to go in here and go down to Pages and choose Change Password, okay? Now, I don't have to call my page change password. That's the function it's going to perform, but I do have to have this short code. If I didn't have the short code, nothing would happen. Absolutely nothing would happen. So when I choose this particular page, and I go down here and I choose change password, and I save my changes, now it will actually function. So just to be clear, in order to change a page or assign a page, in WordPress, you've got to have that WooCommerce shortcode in there. Okay, so let's go in and we're going to add some products now. Let's add a product here and we're going to call this Blue Straight Bowl. And this is a bit about the Blue Striped Bowl. And this is what's going to appear here in this area in the main product page when it's just the single product page for Blue Stripe Bowl. I'm going to assign it to the Soup Bowl category in this case. Now these categories were left over from Jigo Shop. It remembers those categories. I could add a new product category here if I wanted, just like in regular WordPress. Okay. Now we get to the product data for WooCommerce. By default, this is called a simple product. And most of your physical products are going to be like this, just simple product. We'll explore some of these other options down here, like a variable product, which has different prices for, say, different sizes or something like that. There's grouping of products, and then you can even have external or affiliate products as well, because they're handled differently. But again, most are going to be a simple product. If it's virtual, that really means it would be like a service, so it's not getting shipped, and it's not being downloaded either, right? That's not a file. That's a downloadable. So in that case, that's going to be handled differently too. So you would set that there. The SKU number, now this is totally separate from the WordPress ID for this product. And I'll show you that in a moment. Let's just enter our own number here. So this is, let's say, B843. We'll just put in something in there. But this is your internal number, okay, for your system. Regular price, we'll just make it $15 is fine. We're not going to worry about sale pricing right now. Weights, remember we set up kilograms and centimeters. You can change that in your settings, of course. But this is where we'd enter the information that's going to get used by your shipping. Most shipping modules are going to require this. And then product short description, a uh, short description of our blue striped bowl. Now. I'm not clear where this gets used, and we'll try to explore that later, but I haven't been able to find where it actually gets used. Let me set a featured image for this. I go find a file. There we go, blue striped bowl. And we upload that. Remember, we don't insert it into post. We don't click that. We use as featured item, featured image, rather. And there we go. So we're set to publish there. Now we've got our first product and let's go over to here to our catalog now notice it's showing me all the products that were in there before from jigo shop but in fact they won't even show in here if i go to bowls if i go to soup bowls it says two but actually it's only going to show me the one that i entered into woocommerce so that's something to watch for if you've had jigo shop installed it's not bringing over the products fully, and we're going to need to get rid of those. And let's just go right in here just to make sure we're seeing our bowl. We'll talk more about images. Notice how the image is cut off. 
We'll talk about that when we get to images later on. There's our SKU number that shows up for us, and I can add it to the cart. If I do that, just make sure that's working. Nice, it tells me it's been added. I don't have to go to the cart if I don't want to. Remember we had that setting that said go automatically to the cart? You don't need that if people are going to be entering multiple products in the cart. There's enough here to tell them that it's been successful. But let's just view the cart anyway just to make sure. And there it is. Our blue stripe bowl is in. So that's how you quickly add a product, assign it to a category, and then display it in your catalog.